Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $125,752.06. In the past year I am up $52,489.60. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $33,499.94. Today overall was a very green day for me. I was down $1,399.31 during the day. However, overnight, I am up $4,554.26. Let's go over my positions. So my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $1,536. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return $126. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return. I am down $592. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $10. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $160. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $1,153. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $200. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $3,736. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $197.94. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $2,902.03. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $11.26. My average cost, $5.70. My total return, $35,594.05. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $150.02. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, $121.50. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $57.44. My average cost, $54.86. My total return, $1,034. This is a margin account. My margin total is $107,410.43. My margin used is $61,013.19. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $36,397.24 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $58,412.04. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.09. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So yeah, overall, really green day today. Um, if we round up, I'm at 126. It keeps on going up and down, but I was at um, if we round up, I was at 126 K earlier. Now, something to note here is that Amazon reported today. If you look at the movement here, it was red during the day. It was down 3.43% during the day. However, after they reported, I guess a good earnings, um, they were up 6.34% after hours. So overall up about 3% today, which is good. I'm thinking I might roll these out. 
Um, considering that they reported good earnings, I believe they beat on EPS. Let's scroll down here and see. So yeah, earnings was today. The estimated was a dollar and fourteen cents per share. The actual was a dollar and forty three cents per share. So they beat on EPS. Um, I'm gonna say I might roll these out. Right now, it's in the money. I chose a strike price of 190 for my covered calls, but it's above 190 right now. It's at 197, 94 cents. So I might choose a higher strike price, maybe 200, maybe even 210, to be honest with you. 205, 210, somewhere around there. Because the expiration date is December, which is pretty much two months from now. Um, and a lot can happen in two months. Um, so yeah, I might be changing the strike price to 210. We'll see. But I'm very happy that things are going well right now. Um, something else to note. I think I might be rolling out my SoFi as well. I chose the strike price of 11. Right now, SoFi is above 11. It's at $11.20. So I might change this to... Um, $12 strike price? We'll see. This expires earlier though. My SoFi covered calls expire in November. Basically about 22 days from now. So uh, that's pretty much my plans for now. Target I plan to just leave alone. I chose the strike price of 145 Right now it's above 145 It's at 150 However, unlike these other two, I don't really care to own Target. I'm not like super into this. I could take it or leave it. I mean, this, I'm just going to leave it for now and do nothing with it. Same with Delta Airlines. I mean, I chose a strike price of 55 Right now, it's above 55 It's at $57.44. But again, I'm not like super desperate to keep Delta. Um, I could take it or leave it. Right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. But yeah. I was saying how I would buy more SoFi if it reaches like $10 or below. Um, that's not happening. It's, it's at $11 and 20 cents now. So it's gone up since then. Um, right after it reported earnings, I remember the day it reported earnings in the, in the morning, right? It dropped down to like, you know, $10, 12 cents, 997. So it did drop down to that, you know, $10 mark on the morning of when it reported earnings, right? It dropped down to that, that, that amount. However, since then, it's gone up again, so we'll see if it drops back down again. We'll see, but I think if it does drop down to like 10 or below 10, I'm probably going to buy some more. All right, that's pretty much all my plans for now. I have really nothing else to report. All right, I'll keep on making more updates, but for now, this is it for this update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.